the SID Display Week here at the ID Tech X booth. And uh, who are you? Hi, Starbucks. This is Guillaume from ID Tech X. I'm a senior analyst uh, with the company. And uh, you are, have a presence here talking about all the market research and the trade shows that the awesome uh, ID yeah. Tech X shows. Yeah, we're just here to talk about emerging technologies. We provide market reports. We also organize our own events on emerging technologies. So we're here to talk about a lot of different things that are not necessarily related to displays, but uh, um, related to a lot of new technologies are really cool. So we're actually here to uh, give a lot of um, presentations on these technologies. Cool, so uh, is it okay? Can we walk around the, the SID Display Week and look around a little bit? Yeah, which one do you want to see? S so SID is a really important show for displays and uh, so I come here every year to get up to date with all the new displays available. So you have things like uh, e-paper displays from e-ink, they always show the latest stuff. You have a uh, flexible display, OLED display, OLED TVs. And so it's really uh, um, an interesting place to come here to um, really see all the novelties. I like this one, uh, the, the, the plastic-based OLED. Yeah, so this is a really big trend. And it's, uh, this is actually something we predicted a few years ago, that plastic-based displays and flexible displays would be really, really important. And here and they're so showing them off. Yeah. So you can really see here one example of a, a, a foldable OLED. So at the moment, uh, what's, what's available, are, um, you can find a lot of plastic-based OLED uh, in, in consumer products, things like Samsung phones. So these are actually happening right now. Um, and here at GDI. But we're still a little bit far from the uh, fully foldable display, but that's going to come <coughs> later. Some nice, amazingly awesome looking yeah. things. And bezel-less also, that's a big deal. Yes, uh, more, more and more important. Sorry, I'm jumping in. That's just so awesome. All right, so uh, there's some big companies here. Yeah, so um, Samsung and LG are always, you know, the big rivals and they always have really big booths here. And OLED is really big. Um, and they are queuing up for a future display. This is... Yes. Yeah, so there's a stretchable display in there. Stretchable. And everybody wants to see it. And uh, this is this is mass production. There's been edge devices. And actually, there's flexible OLED behind the glass. And it's just conforming to the glass, right? And it's, it's mass production. So that really works. Yeah, so you see some of the products that Samsung made and using the OLED display. So Samsung is really big on OLEDs. Uh, and uh, you can see how they're really working on uh, using OLED for virtual reality here. So virtual reality has a lot of really important requirements in order to make a really good display. 858 pixels per inch. That's uh, more than 2K and 3.5 inch. That's, okay, yeah. that's pretty high resolution. That's pretty high for direct view, but if you're actually looking at glasses uh, with uh, um, those virtual reality headsets, you actually need much higher resolution if you're not in the future. And uh, they're showing fast response. Yeah, let's go and have a look. So one thing you'll notice is that um, Samsung here doesn't show any of their QLED technology which is something that we're showing at CES, but they're keeping really quiet to, uh, at this show about QLED. QLED, what is, that's, that's quantum dot, or what is it? It's quantum dot, but uh, um, actually QLED uh, can mean um, emissive quantum dot, and, uh, but uh, the, the TV that Samsung was showing at CES was, was uh, just an LCD, uh, LCD with quantum dot. And uh, I was checking this out earlier, but this is, it's pretty thin, right? So you can see here's the, the new wallpaper OLED from, uh, from LG. And it really shows how what you can do with OLED technology. You can make very, very thin display. So wallpaper, usually wallpaper is made by uh, printing. But this is not printing. When is it going to happen that they're going to be able to print stuff like that? We still don't know. But there's definitely, uh, there's definitely a lot of interest in, in using uh, in printing technology for making OLED. This you can what do you see think about that? Sound. This is pretty cool. So uh, if you put some... Uh, speaker technology yeah. so here you have some uh, actuators behind the display so you can make the whole display vibrate 
Cool. This is an important event for the display industry. Um, you know, at IDTechX, we organize our own event for other emerging technologies, uh, which also includes some of the um, really, really new display technologies. Um, but here you can, uh, you can see a lot of uh, different companies of supply chain, and you can talk about lots of things like quantum dots, um, micro LEDs, you can talk about OLED. And so for me as an analyst, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Just gonna jump in. I think this is interesting. A new reflective. I'll be I'll be right back. We'll be back. Okay. I think that might be the the coolest thing that I've seen at the show. This foldable e-ink device. A lot of people walking by and bending it. Can you bend it? Sure. All right. Yeah. That's really cool. So this is like uh, been awesome. for many many years the dream, but it's happening, right? It this is kind happening. Of yeah, you can see it's possible. Technically, it's possible. So you know, it's all about making this uh, at a cost that is acceptable for consumers, and then putting this on the market. So it's all about uh, uh, mass production. Mass production. Uh, need the whole yield, value chain, everything. Yeah, this this is all important. And so, like I said, this is the. Plastic and flexible displays, these are things that I've been talking about for a few years now. And uh, at ID Tech X, we've predicted there's going to be a big growth for, for this kind of technology. And here you can see that actually this is really happening and um, all the technology is converging towards that kind of uh, um, new form factor. Cool.